Hello there, this video we will be showing you how to create an Eternos Minecraft 1.17 server. There is nothing much to explain so let's get right into the video. First, click on sign up if you don't have an account. If you already have an Eternos account, click on login or login with the services below. I'm going to create a new account to show you what it is like. Now, enter a username. This is what you will be logging in with. Once you are done, make sure you check the two boxes then click on next. Now, enter a password that you will log in with. Although emails are optional, I highly recommend adding one just in case you forget your password. Now, click on the sign up button. There might be a CAPTCHA so if you get one you have to do it. Now, click on the create a server button. You can only create one server per account but if you need two or more, you can create a new account. The text that says name.eternos.me will be your IP that your friends connect to. The bottom text will be the description. You can also change the icon of your server by clicking on the Eternos logo beside the IP and description. Eternos also supports Bedrock Edition server but we will be covering Java. This is the main page of your Minecraft server. Before we start the server go to options. This is the main page of your Minecraft server. Before we start the server go to options. Also, don't worry about the software 1.17 has been installed for you. Ok, we are now at options. To get there, click on the options button on the left. This is where you modify the server settings. This is where you can change the max amount of players, the game mode, etc. This is important if your friend plays on a cracked Minecraft client like T-Launcher. If you turn it on, cracked or T-Launcher players can join your server. This is where you generate or upload a Minecraft world. If you are uploading one, it will open file explorer then you select a folder. Then you can enter the world name, seed, if structures can generate. I'm not going to talk about generator settings but you can google it. In Eternos, you also have the ability to back up your Minecraft worlds with Google Drive. This is the Eternos file explorer, also, if you want to upload a data pack you can go into your world folder then go to your data packs folder then there should be an up arrow with an icon. Click on that then select your compressed file. Once your settings are set up, you can start the server. For me it took about 1 minutes and 20 seconds to start it. But depending where you live it could be different like there could be a queue. Ok, the server is up, also there is a timer when the server will shut down but this only counts down when the server has no players in it. Now, click on the connect button then send them the IP. If it doesn't work try sending the Dyn IP to your friend instead but remember the Dyn IP can change. Once you loaded up Minecraft, click on multiplayer then click on add server or direct connect. Ok, I loaded in. As you can see there is no lag at all. Tip, tip, if you want to get operator go to the console tab on the left on the Eternos website then type in op space then the player's username.
I am doing a 1331 block TNT test. If you see any lag that is my client. As you can see, there is not much lag after that test other than the fact but it was running 40 ticks behind for a few seconds. I'm going to get an alt account out so that I can show you that the alt connects. That is my offline alt account right there. Anyway, that is all for the video. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if this helped. Goodbye.